Students, welcome to our program, Practical English. For this semester, we'll have great fun to be together to read 18 chapters. And for this textbook, although it is for reading, but um, I try to make it fun and practical that you can use in your daily lives. So there are three features I try to uh, fit into this program. First one is we have the group wordings. Um, like uh, Mr. Basketball, you will learn a lot about the terminology of a uh, basketball, like uh, dribbling, the balls under your leg, like laid up, like uh, shooting, timeout, etc. And for the second one is that most of uh, the time we will use English as a dialogue. In. So after you read this textbook, you can try to communicate with your friends in English, in daily English. So that can be very practical for your English learning. And overall speaking, that will be a very easy way to use your daily lives. So that's why we try to call it as a practical English. And we have our first chapter, Mr. Basketball. Uh, this is a pastime article. I know most of you love to play basketball, and it is a great pastime. Today we have an expert of a basketball player. He's with us. Let me introduce you, Robert Lee. Hi, student. This is Robert. It's great to be here. Hello, Robert. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Robert has been stayed in the United States, Boston, for over 13 years. And he is a great teacher and a good speaker as well. And also, he loves to play basketball a lot. How often do you play basketball, Robert? About two, three times a week. Two to three times, and how often? How long? How long do you play? Usually, about one and a half or two hours. Two hours. Mm. At your age, that's not easy, though, right? Yeah. Everybody in the basketball court, they always love to ask you, "How old are you?" I consider that a compliment. Yes, that that, that is. And so, do you watch the NBA program? Yes, I do. Uh, by the way, what is the NBA? NBA stands for National Basketball Association. Yes. And who is, the, who is your favorite player in NBA? I would say Mr. Basketball, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. And why, what part do you like him most? Well, he had the, one of the unique techniques. He can jump very high with one big step mm -hmm. from the free throw line and then dunk the ball in the rim. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. 同学们刚刚我们提到是 Robert 喜欢打篮球,然后他也喜欢看这个全美的职业篮赛。他最喜欢的是 Michael Jordan,相信你们有的认着他。那 Michael Jordan最强的地方是他在罚球线可以一步上篮,然后就直接灌篮。now let's take a look at the first paragraph. See the way I am driving the ball under my legs, laying up and shooting. 你看到了吧? 我在两腿间控球,上篮和投球的样子. I can even spin the ball amazingly. 我甚至可以令人惊奇地把球旋转. No doubt about it. I'm a pretty good basketball player. 无疑的,我是一位很棒的篮球员. When we talk about basketball, we usually think of the superstar Michael Jordan. 当我们谈到篮球时, 
，我们一定会联想到一位篮球巨星 Michael Jordan。And students, here we talk about some terms: driving ball, ball under my legs, laying up and shooting. I know how is it doing with the dribbling the the ball under my leg, but what is the laying up? Can you explain to us? A little laying bit? up is a basketball shot with one hand. In the position under or beside the basket, that's called laying up. 擦板得分的意思 right? Yeah, that's right. Good. And you say that you can spin the ball amazingly, 旋转一个球 How did you do that? First of all, you bend your arm and put the ball in the hand, palm of your hand, and then make your wrist freak and throw the ball into the air about two, three inches,、mm. and then. You slap the ball slightly while you are spinning.、Mm -hmm. That's how I do spin the ball on the finger. Okay, 同学们就是呃、uh, 这样旋转球，然后把手伸这样啊， uh, 然后球它就会一直转。这个不太容易的。Now let's take a look at some of the vocabulary. The first one. Spin, boop. 及物动词使球等旋转。Robert can spin the basketball amazingly. Robert 将篮球转得令人惊奇。Students, you have just seen what he performed. Number two. Amazingly able. 副词令人惊奇的。Ivy was amazingly courageous. 爱飞惊人的勇敢。Now, students, let's take a look at a useful phrase. Number one. Think of. 想到 When I look at the stars, I think of your eyes. 当我看到星星，就想到你的眼睛 Is that true, Robert? I think so. Oh, that's great. Now let's take a look at the second paragraph. Michael was so successful. He helped the Chicago Bulls win six championships in a row. Mike 成功的为芝加哥公牛队连续拿下六场冠军赛优胜。He was voted MVP five times. 他曾获选五次最佳价值球员。And he averaged forty-one points a game. 而且平均每场比赛得到四十一分的高分。He is the man with charisma. He is my hero. 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 Uh, in this paragraph, we have、uh, some terms like、uh, MVP. Yep. What, what does this stand for here? MVP. It stands for most valuable player. Most valuable player. Okay. And here we mention about Michael Jordan of averaged 41 points a game. Is that a lot? Oh yeah, that could be the highest. Then how about yours? Mine is about. Fifteen points a game. Oh, not too bad, not too good. I'm in the middle. But you are better than I am.、No、oh yeah,、problem. for sure. Yeah, no problem. So, students, let's take a break now. Now, students, welcome back. Let's discuss some、uh, vocabulary. Number three. Championship, no. 名词，冠军的地位，冠军称号。Susan won the spelling championship. Susan 在拼字比赛中得了第一名。Number four. Vote, vote. 不及物动词，投票、表决、选举。I need your vote and the full support. 我需要你的选票和支持。Number five. Average it, vote. 及物动词，算出什么的平均数
将什么平均分配 ？Sam averaged nine hours of work a day. Sam 每天工作九小时。Number six. Charisma, none. 名词，魅力。Robert is a man with great charisma. 罗伯是很有魅力的人。Students, you can see him right here, right? Yep. Good. Then number seven. Hero, none. 名词，英雄，勇士。Rick is my hero because he saved my life. Ricky 是我的英雄，因为他救了我的命。Number eight. Salute, verb. 及物动词，向谁行礼，向谁致敬，赞扬。Let's salute to our new project's success. 让我们向我们成功的计划致敬。And let's take a look at the phrase. They are very useful. The number two. In a row. 连续。Our football team won three championships in a row. 我们的足球队连续拿到三次的冠军。And students, now we want to know what is the winning quality of、uh, Michael Jordan. Actually, there are three winning qualities. Let's take a look at the first one. Robert, please go ahead. Winning quality number one is. 第一个获胜的特质是。That Michael believes that. Everyone has the right to be successful. Mike 相信每个人都有权利成功。His father, Mr. James Jordan, had the greatest influence on his life. 他的父亲乔丹先生对迈克的一生产生最大的影响。In his home, 在迈克的家中 ，He learned to love what you do, and success will follow. 他学习到做你所爱做的事，成功将会来到。That's a plain basketball. 那就是打篮球。He became one of the best players for his high school basketball team. 他在高中时期的篮球队已是最佳球员之一。And averaged 25 points a game. 并平均一场比赛获得二十五分。That's amazing. Every student has a right to be successful. 每一位学生也都有权利获得成功。It's important to keep challenging yourself in order to enhance your growth. 为了加强你的成长，不断的挑战自己是很重要的。That's probably why you were studying in the college or university. 这也许。也是你们来大学读书的原因。In this paragraph, there's a very important sentence that is, "Love what you do, and success will follow." 喜欢你所做的事情，那么成功就会跟着来到。Do you have an example for that, Robert? Oh yes, thirteen years ago, when I got back from Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. I was so eager to find an English-speaking imbibe, and I did find one. It's called Fengyan Toastmaster Club in Fengyan, mm -hmm. because I love to improve my public speaking all the time. With the practice and practice and practice, finally in 1976, I won the second runner-up at the national speech contest in Toastmasters. Oh, that's really something. Robert 跟我们分享的是，他从十几年前回国之后，一直想要改善他的英文演讲能力，所以他参加了一个国际英文演讲会，是在丰原。那他，嗯，做了很多的演讲，当然他也参加全国的比赛，然后在不断不断的练习之后，他得到了全国的第三名。The second runner-up means the third place. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a very good example. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary number nine. Influence, none. 名词，影响力，势力。My father had a big influence on my decision making. 我的父亲对于我所做的决定有很大的影响力。Number ten. Challenge, both. 
及物动词，向什么挑战 ？I challenge Susan to answer the difficult question in one minute. 我向苏珊挑战，要她一分钟内回答这个困难的问题。Number twelve. Enhance verb. 及物动词，提高，增加。Beautifully colored food enhanced our appetite. 漂亮彩色的食物加强了我们的食欲。Students, we are going to learn about the second winning quality of Michael. Let's take a look at the paragraph four. Winning quality number two is. 第二个获胜的特质是。That Michael knows how to turn setbacks into the powerful driving force. Mike 知道如何将挫折。转换成有力的驱动力。On one occasion， 在一个场合 ，a college coach asked Michael to serve as a towel boy。有一位大学教练要求他当递送毛巾的小弟。His duty was to give towels and water cups to key players on the bench。他的职责是递送毛巾及水杯给那些坐在板凳上的重要球员们。For him, that was humiliating. 对他来说，那是个侮辱。His heart was broken. 他的心都碎了。Because he was too good to be kept from playing. 因为他打得太好了，而不能不打篮球。He swore to God. 因此，他向上帝发誓。That he wanted to become the best ball player of all time by creating his own unique styles and techniques. 他将借着他自己独特的风格和技术，成为历来最棒的球员。He made it， 而他做到了。He made it， 他做到了。Ah,、uh, here we talk about Michael's unique styles and techniques. And Robert shared with us from the very beginning that he has the unique style of、uh, gaining the points from the free throw lines. And jump to the air and have a slam dunk. Then he got the great point for his team, right? Yeah, that's right. That's that's great. And here's another word: humiliating. Humiliate. Ah,、uh, 羞辱，耻辱 Do you have any experience of the being humiliated? Yeah, it happened two years ago、uh, when I was looking for the job of the English tutors. During the interview, their father told me in front of his children that I was qualified English teacher, but my face didn't look like American, and I didn't speak English with an American accent. As a result, I didn't get a job. I think that's my humiliating experience. Okay, yeah, that's humiliating, but it's okay. Yeah, you are Chinese with a good English ability. That's good enough. Ah,、uh, students, let's、um, take a break. Okay. <music> students, welcome back. Now let's discuss about some vocabularies. Number thirteen. Setback noun. 名词，挫折、失败、倒退。James was met with many setbacks in his career, but he overcame them. 詹姆斯在事业上遭到许多挫折，但是他克服那些挫折了。Number fourteen. Powerful adjective. 形容词，强有力的、强大的。Phillips is a very powerful man in this town. Philip 在这小镇是个有力人士。Number fifteen, coach noun. 名词，运动队的教练。Our baseball team has a very inexperienced coach. 我们的棒球队有一个很没有经验的教练。Number sixteen, humiliate verb. 及物动词，使蒙耻辱、羞辱、使丢脸。I was so humiliated 
When the people laugh at my speech. 当人们取笑我的演讲时，我感到丢脸极了。Number seventeen. Unique, able. 形容词，唯一的，独一无二的，独特的。The custom of the parades in April is unique to this city. 这种四月游行的风俗是这一个城市特有的。Number eighteen. Technique, noun. 名词，技巧、技术、技法。We still need to learn English-speaking techniques. 我们还得学习英文口说技巧。There are so many techniques that we have to learn in our lives. One is English, and there are so many others like communication skills or leadership. Now let's take a look at the phrase number three. Driving force. 驱动力。She wants to be a speed champion, so that her driving force. For working to be better and better. He wants to get a speech champion. This is to make her more powerful. Number four. On occasion. In what circumstances? On that occasion, I think you behave very well. In that situation, I think you behave very well. Number five. Two, two. Too too. Too too. Too too. Too too. No one is able too old to be a dancer. 没有人会因为太老以至于不能当舞者。Ah, students, be aware of this phrase because it's very useful, but you usually you use it wrong. Too too 是太怎么样以至于不能怎么样。She's too old to be a mother. 她太老了以至于不能成为一位母亲。And let's talk about the winning quality number three of Michael. Robert. Please go ahead. Winning quality number three is. 第三个获胜特质是。That Michael always had the burning desire to rise to the top in the game. Michael 在比赛中总是具有很强的欲望，成为顶尖的球员。When Michael was in high school. 当 Michael 在高中时。He was rejected to be one of the key players. 他曾被拒绝成为关键球员。Simply because he was too short. 仅仅是因为他太矮了。He was only 175 centimeter tall. 只有一百七十五公分高。From then on. 从那之后。He's the goal to play for the college team and the NBA, no matter what. 为了能在大学和全美篮球协会打球，他设定了一个不管如何都要达到的目标。After trying quite hard. 经过很大的努力后 ，He became the only kid in his family to grow to the height of 196 centimeter. 他成为他们家中唯一长到196公分的孩子。He became the most talented basketball player in history. 而他如今成为历史上最有才华的球员。In many NBA final games. 在许多全美篮球协会比赛的关键决赛时。He was the one to hit the final basket with only two or three seconds left. 他是这一位在最后仅剩二或三秒投进最后一球而结束比赛的人。You could always count on Michael to turn any losing situation around. 你总是可以依靠 Michael 将败事逆转。Because he had the burning desire to win and rise to the top. 因为他有强烈的欲望获得最后胜利。That's his best quality that no one can surpass. 那就是无人可超越的最好特质。Michael has proved to us. Michael 向我们证明了。That nothing is impossible if you have a burning desire to achieve your goal. 只要有强烈的欲望，想达到目的，任何事都可以达成。Students, it's not easy to be the one who hit the basket. With uh, two or three seconds left, because you have to be very skillful and you have to be very calm. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the vocabularies. Vocabulary nine, number nineteen. Reject, boop. 及物动词，拒绝，抵制。Lin felt so bad when she was rejected by this big company. Lin 觉得很糟，当她被这家公司拒绝。Number twenty. Talented, adjective. 形容词有天才的，有才干的
He is a very talented writer. 他是一个很有天赋的作家。Number twenty-one. Rise, verb. 不及物动词，上涨、升高、增加。The sun rises from the east. 太阳从东边升起。Number twenty-two. Surpass, verb. 及物动词，胜过、优于。She surpassed her brother in every field. 她在每个方面都比她的兄弟强。Number twenty-three. Proof, verb. 及物动词，证明、证实。David's lawyer proof that. He is innocent. 大卫的律师证实了他的清白。Now let's take a look at the useful phrases here. Number six. No matter what. 无论如何。Juliet is determined to get that job no matter what. 无论如何 ，Juliet 一定要得到那工作。Number seven. Count on. 依靠，指望。We count on you to get a good grade on this English test. 这次英文考试都靠你喽 ，Number eight. Turn around. 将劣势反转过来。Michael Jordan can always turn the game around. Michael Jordan 总是可以把比赛从劣势反转过来。Now we are going to read the last paragraph to see how Robert ends his article. Please go ahead, Robert. My hero and role model, Mr. Basketball. Michael Jordan had taught me. Michael Jordan 教会了我 about our right to be successful. 成功的权利 Turning setback into a powerful driving force. 将挫折转为强大的驱动力 And a burning desire to rise to the top. 以及拥有强烈欲望成为顶尖 If we learn these lessons. 如果我们学到这些功课 Along with the sacrifice and commitment, 并伴随着牺牲和承诺 ，we can accomplish anything. 我们可以成就任何事情。Let's pick up the Michael's winning spirit. 让我们学习迈克的获胜精神。And apply it in our lives. 并应用在我们的生活中。Are you ready to give yourself a chance to succeed? 你准备好了给自己一个成功的机会了吗？ Students, this is a very wonderful conclusion. So you know the three winning qualities. One is that um, the right to be success, and two, use the setbacks to be your driving force. And the third one is you have a strong willing to rise to the top. This is a good ending. And let's take a look at some vocabularies. Number 24. Sacrifice, none. 名词，牺牲，牺牲的行为。Parents often make sacrifices for their children. 父母亲常常为子女做出牺牲。Twenty-five. Commitment, none. 名词，承诺，保证，承担的义务。William is the man who is afraid of making a commitment. William 是个害怕做出承诺的人。Students, we have a good article here. And there are some terminology that maybe we can review for you when you are talking about basketball. Like uh, the first one, dribbling the ball under the legs. What about the second one? Laying up? Laying up and shooting. Shooting, good. Spinning and slam dunk? Yep. What about the others? Free throw line? Yep. Passing? Chan Assist? Yes. Zhu Gong? Steal? Yep. 超球 block, 盖火锅 yep. right? Time out, 暂停 take a break, and also time's up, 时间到了 Students, our time, time's up. So, I hope you have learned something today and you have fun with us. Let's uh, see each other for the next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.